Okay, hey everyone and welcome to another Class 66 Rocks how-to video. Now in this video I'm going to be showing you how to program a locomotive using the Batman Dynamis DCC EZ command system. Um, obviously we've got two of these which powers either track but for today's purposes I've chosen my Class 66 with DCC sound number 66022 in EWS livery and I'm going to show you the way in which you program the locomotive now there is actually two ways of doing this well actually it's one but I'll just explain to you now using the handset and the control box just there I'm going to show you on the screen how this actually goes about programming the locomotive and what it says on the screen when it's programming. So then what I'm going to do, I'm going to pause the camcorder which will then hopefully move to another clip um, and the other clip is actually watching the locomotive itself be programmed. Now usually with DCC locomotives you can hear two clicks so that's what I'm hoping to let you hear on this video. So moving back to the handset so here we can see we've got the EWS class 66 um, now I've already programmed this and had it running around the layout so I'll we'll sort of put it on the test track and I'll show you how to do it. So the first thing that we need to do is press this button here for the menu. Now as you can see there it says edit name but we don't want that so what we're going to do is we're just going to scroll two clicks to the left and where it says program EWS class 66 we're going to click the tick. So then you'll get some options. Some are main track and some are service track. Now for all my locomotives we use the right address on the service track menu um, because otherwise if I programmed it to the main track which I did once before it programmed all my locomotives that were on the track so they all became the same loco. So now we program them all individually on our test track just down here. So now we shall we will click on that and as you can see here it says we now have to choose an address number now if you've already put the name and speed steps and the type of loco in your number should come up just here now ignore that flashing one next to it that's actually nothing so now what we're going to do as you can see here it says prog with a picture of a straight piece of trap there so now what we're going to do we're going to press that button and you will now see, if I just stand up, how it programs it. So as you can see there, it's saying programming. And that is now complete, so the Class 66 is ready to run. So, what I'll do now, I'll move down to the test track. Um, I'm actually going to film this in one clip now instead of two as I can actually move up and down without the camcorder causing too much of a focus problem. So now I'm going to just do the same again. So this time I'm going to just listen out for the two clicks that I told you about. So I'm going to be quiet and I hope you hear the clicks now. And now the locomotive is complete and I hope you heard the two clicks um, so obviously just to prove my point to show that my loco is ready you can see that my lights have come on on the front so if we wanted it to go into reverse we can see now the tail lights have come on and just as an added extra to thank everybody for watching my channel I'm just going to start it up and sound the horn for you. And as you can hear, the locomotive is starting up. So any minute now, I will be putting the horns on and that will conclude the video.